Okay, kind of excited to show you something here that uh, I've been looking for for a long time and have not seen. We're out late in the evening because it's cooled down now and it's cool enough to walk. What we've got here is what's called crepuscular rays and that's where the sun is shining through the clouds and it's causing this ray effect here which is this big broad ray of shadow here. Of course another way to think of this is it's just a long volumetric shadow and then if we follow that all the way over there see it's coming bigger and broader and wider as it comes towards us we follow it all the way across the sky and it becomes narrow again so we're now seeing what was what's called anti-crepuscular rays i've been hoping to see these for years and years and this is the first time i've ever seen it and it's probably not the best example of the thing but i am really excited to see this so there we go so that over there is crepuscular rays and we follow them across the sky to the anti-crepuscular rays. So this is just perspective, it's just an effect of vanishing points, a normal geometric perspective, but it's actually quite unusual to see anti-crepuscular rays because obviously the light has to get all the way across the other side of the sky and then hit something to create a shadow. So something of a rarity and I'm very pleased to see it. But anyway, Doggo needs to carry on having a walk now. And in the dusk light here across the fields, it's actually quite a magical sort of look to it. I've got to keep her on a lead because I suspect that with dusk falling, there will be deer in this field. And there we go. That's why I have Eva on the lead. We've got a deer there and she would just love to go and run with that deer. I don't think she would mean it any harm. But she would just love to go and run and frolic with the deer. And of course, we can't allow that to happen. So next day, shrimp here. And just to clarify, so the geometry of what we saw yesterday with the light rays is not really all that different to what we see happening with the train tracks behind us here. So it's just parallel lines appearing to converge to a point at infinity. And so of course, what we've got here is that they appear to broaden out as they approach me in this direction. And behind me over there, you can see them narrow back down to a point. So it's exactly the same geometry. And the thing that makes it particularly special, I think, when it happens in the sky is obviously the setup for those light rays to appear and be visible throughout their entire length as they pass over your head is a little bit more rare. And so after only about probably 20 minutes in the frankly beautiful dusk light, the phenomenon we were looking at crepuscular rays, well there's still a bit of that there. The anti-crepuscular rays, nowhere to be seen. So this really is quite an ephemeral phenomenon and quite a rare one. It needs exactly the right conditions to appear so I feel quite privileged to have seen that today. So I hope that was interesting, that was crepuscular rays and anti-crepuscular rays. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.